Hello and welcome to another Blender Pro video. In this video, I'll be talking about the new 2.8 release of Blender and the development projects I'll be working on. If you're unfamiliar, in my previous video, I demonstrated an application template that I created for the 2.79 release. It showed off a different interface, a simple asset management system, and some other new tools, but this was just the beginning. With the general release of 2.8 available, I have started migrating the functionality of the Blender Pro template to this new release but I'm gonna take a different approach. Rather than migrating the entire application template, I'm gonna first create add-ons that contain all of the functionality. The first add-on I'll be releasing is the Blender Pro Sidebar. This add-on provides me with additional properties and options within the 3D viewport, and will also include the simple asset management system that I used in the 2.79 release. I will release a video soon that gives you an overview of all of the features and a demonstration of how it speeds up and simplifies my workflow. The second add-on is a very simple one called Interface Splitter. This keeps my interface consistent while working with different editor spaces. Rather than manually splitting the spaces, I have a simple drop-down that allows me to select one of the common spaces and it automatically opens up that editor and splits the interface in the same way every time, based on the space that I'm opening. Now it's a simple add-on, but it helps keep my interface clean and consistent. The third add-on is called the Blender Pro Assembly Builder. This is going to help me with the process of creating parametric assets, which will basically automate and simplify the process of working with drivers and modifiers. Now this is still in the early planning stages, but I'll release more information as I get further along with development. The Blender 2.8 series is a really exciting milestone for Blender. But the thing that excites me the most is using 2.8 for my personal projects. I have plans to renovate my house, so developing tools to help me with the design process will be my primary focus. One of the biggest goals I have is to design and build a recording studio in my garage. So I'll be using existing add-ons like Archipack to help me with the layout, I'll be using my asset management system to help with the aesthetic and functional design of the space, and I'll even be using the assembly builder add-on to help me plan how I'm going to frame the walls and build the actual structures. Now this is a big project, and I'll be learning a lot as I go through the process, so I'll be posting any helpful information that I come across, and I'll provide any tools that I develop for free to hopefully help anyone try to accomplish something similar. Now, if you want to stay up to date with my progress, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll be posting updates, tutorials, and other information soon. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.